Hello guys, it's Matt from Texanic here, and today I'm going to teach you how to 3D print your own created designs made here in our Maker's 3D lab. So, I'm going to be creating something simple today. Um, I'm thinking of like a pine cone shape. So let's flatten this out a bit. Maybe increase its length, its width a bit. Looks a bit good to me. I'm going to add a cone on top, so I'm going to move this up here. That looks a bit good to me, but I'm going to reduce its width and like just a bit. That looks a bit close enough to me. Um, so, in order to take this file, our creation that we just made, and print it off in your very own 3D printer, what we will want to do is export this file as an OBJ file. An OBJ file can be found by clicking on this button right here in our drop down menu. And let's give our creation a name. So, Pylon. And we can then export this file as our OBJ file as by pressing this button right here. And now we have downloaded our Pylon creation. So, what we're going to want to do now is we're going to want to pull this file we just created into a 3D printing app. Now there are plenty of 3D printing apps, but the one that is free and open source and that I prefer to use is made by Ultimator Cura. You can download it here at ultimator.com, software at Ultimator Cura. Links will be below in the YouTube video. And once you've downloaded that and open it yourself, you'll find an interface that looks a bit similar to so I will look into my files and I'll find my pylon.obj file and I'll just drag the file onto this interface and it will load our pylon. That's a little yellow dot right there. It's looking a bit small though, isn't it? So what we're going to do inside this interface is we're going to scale it up. Hmm. So I'm going to scale this up to something like 30 millimeters. Let's take a look at this. That's a bit large for what I want to be printing off. It might take a bit too long, so I'm going to put that down to 25 millimeters. And that looks about right with how big of a size I want it to be. Now, pylon's about uh, supposed to stay upright, right? So I'm going to now rotate this. I can rotate this in Ultimate to Cure by clicking on this button right here. And by dragging on these circles right here. Oh, and there we go. And we have our pylon sitting upright. Now as a rule of thumb, the easier or the more simplistic the 3D printer or the 3D, the 3D design you've created, the easier or less chance for failure your 3D printer will have in creating your design. Now there are some quality controls you can, you can play with over here and there are plenty around you can play with to make your 3D creation as perfect as can be. However, the simplest you might need only to interact with is the layer height you see right here. The larger the layer height, the shorter the time it will take your 3D printer to make your your creation. However, it will also have a quality on the surface that is not as great as you might like it if it is uh, too high. I find the perfect for my needs is about 0 0.4. However, if you want a better and more uh, cleaner surface for your design, then you might want to lower this number by a bit. So now that you've had your creation scaled up to an appropriate size for your 3D printer and you have your creation rotated so that's in an upright standing or, or whatever standing you wish to have for your creation. All you want to do now is simply click on slice and this will generate your 3D file to print off. Now I'm going to save my file to my disk by clicking on this blue button right here and I'm going to name my creation again, I'm going to name it pylon. I'm going to save it as a G code file inside my folder here. Now what I want to do is I want to go to the file I just sliced and generated by clicking on this button right here and you will find your file right here. It should be just a G code file and you want to basically take this file and load it onto an SD card or a USB or whatever you will plug into your 3D printer. If you 3D print at your local library, you might want to load this 
pylon file into a USB and give it to your local librarian. They may be able to print off your creation for you. Now, each 3D printer is a bit different, so the basic steps might vary just a little bit. However, these overall are the basic steps of all you need to do in order to print off your own 3D designs that you create on playzenic.com. So play, feel free to play around and create your own creations. Perhaps you'll be able to wow us with the types of things you come up with. Have fun!